everybody, are you ready for game two of the World Series tonight? I am. We won last night. I'm excited. It's the Washington Nationals versus the Houston Astros. And that has nothing to do with what I'm about to talk to you about. What am I going to talk to you about today? Collecting cameras. Collecting cameras. What, what do you mean by that? What I mean by that is people out there actually want to buy vintage cameras. What are they looking for? They're looking for 35 millimeter cameras. What you used to have back in the day or your parents had that's under a bed somewhere. The cool thing about this collectible is most people don't throw them away because it was a very expensive electronic device when they bought it and they don't have the heart to get rid of it, but everyone thinks they're worthless in a weird way. And it's, they think, you know, obviously Obviously, I'm using my phone to record these. Our phones do everything today. So people say, why would somebody want an old 35 millimeter? Well, there's collectors out there that are hot for them. What are they looking for? They're looking for old Nikons. They're looking for old Canons. They're looking for rare lenses. They're looking for Leicas. They're looking for Hasselblad. Some of these may not be household names, but they are out there and people have these under their bed. They have a yard sale. They put these things out for five and $10. And if you do a little homework, eBay, live auctioneers, invaluable. Look up completed prices, old, the historic averages of what these have sold for just recently. And they're really, really hot. And we just had a collection come through the auction house before we close. And it was a gentleman had collected some cameras. He wanted someone to find a good home for them who would appreciate them. And his collection literally brought over $50,000. And he was, he told us this wasn't even the best cameras in his collection. He had sold them um, a couple of months prior and I would have loved to have seen those. But literally what you're looking for is Nikons, Canons, uh, they're not all valuable, but just do a little bit of homework. All you need to do is look up your make, you know, Canon, Nikon, your model, uh, whether it's an F body, an S1, serial number searches are out there. All the information's out there in Google for free for you to do your own homework. And then go to your eBay and look up, you look up completed, sold by the highest price and see why, what they're looking for, what models are hot. These are out there and I'm telling you, it's one of those easy wins out there in the collectible world, vintage cameras. Now, if you really nerd out and learn about your SLR cameras and your medium formats and some of the more rare cameras, you tend to find people who have those know what they have. They're, they weren't in the average household. So, I mean, it was usually a professional photographer that had them versus a Canon, which you're a Nikon, which your father had to take, you know, the pictures at Disney in the 50s and 60s. Just to give you an example, um, gosh, I want to say it was about four years ago, we had run into a Nikon and it was a post-World War II Nikon when the company first started, you know, Japan and the US had just started trading again and they were known, their optics were the best. So they were really well known for their cameras and if you find one of the first 5,000 serial numbers in that first body, they can sell upwards $25,000, $30,000. And it looks just like your typical 35 millimeter camera. So be on the lookout for vintage cameras. If you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to email me, comment. I have people sending in pictures all the time just for my opinion. And uh, I'm happy to give it to you. It's a free quick little appraisal I'll do for you until I get overwhelmed with these. But I'm always happy to help and uh, just steer you in the right direction. I just don't want to see you give something away that might have some value there. Cameras are one of the leading, you know, the leading things I see at estate sales and yard sales that people just undervalue. So 35 millimeters, vintage, look for them. They're out there, they're hot, people want them, they want them online.